What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back today with Flirt and Cosmetics 2019 Summer Smoothie Collection. This is a duo of creamy jellies that are very bright, and depending on how you want to wear them, can be worn either as a sheer jelly or over what I would recommend a white base to make them really pop as a cream. So first up is Blueberry Banana. This is what I would describe as a medium, very bright blue jelly. Um, it definitely applies and it's very smooth on the nail, has a very um, jelly-like, very jello consistency to it. It dries down a little bit on the matte side and it has a really nice squishy appearance overall in the final look. I would describe this as a jelly in that despite how many coats you would wear with it, you are going to see some visible nail line with it. So if you wanted to really make it pop, I would suggest going in and having a white undie and then applying over that and you'll really get it to pop and it'll more than likely come off as a neon in that aspect. But I do feel like jellies in, in general um, are very versatile for nail art and I'm going to show you guys an example of that in just a moment. So here I did take it up to three coats just to really plump it out and really have that like super ultra squishy look in the final look. And as you can see between my coats it is drying down um, definitely on the matte side so just throwing it out there on this one and the other one I didn't have any issues with staining on them so um, and you're smooth to go I think these are really really versatile overall and how you want to wear them on the full hand shot I am showing you guys that it is topped with a glossy top coat just to really make it pop and the second one is tropical sunshine this is a very bright lemony type of yellow on its own, it definitely is feeling almost like a slightly dulled highlighter yellow. So very bright, though I wouldn't classify it as one of those fluorescent type of yellows. Um, I do feel like the video is being color accurate and behaving well for me. So really nice coverage with this one. I feel like the formula on this is just a touch heavier than Blueberry Banana. Just really, really nice overall. And this one also dries down quite a bit on the matte side as well as you're seeing between my layers. So this one I also took up to three coats. I just want to throw it out there when I'm swatching polishes for you guys. I will take them up to as many coats as I feel like I would wear it normally in real life. So if I did wear these two on their own um, in person I would definitely have taken them up to three coats as I felt like that was giving me that nice plump factor I'm usually going for and really giving me that added protection as I as I personally prefer my polish to be th on the thicker side. So here on the full hand shot I did put on a glossy top coat and really nice coverage overall but once again these I would classify these as jellies and you're gonna see some visible nail line regardless. So I wanted to show you guys a technique called lead lighting and this is something that's very easy. I really feel like if you are um, shy of doing like advanced stamping or anything like that then this is probably for you as you don't need to make decals or anything so here I am stamping over color clubs harp on it which is a really strong silver holographic I do prefer to use a silver hollow when I'm doing looks like this because I feel like it makes the bottom polishes pop and you can see a touch of that holographic effect in the final look so I stamped with a black polish with that daisy image this is an uber chic plate um, and then when you're finished, before you do any cleanup or anything, or at least um, I don't prefer to do cleanup until I'm absolutely done at the very end, I'm taking just two little drops of both polishes and I'm going in with a tiny nail art brush. Um, my nail art brushes have been through a gauntlet over the years, so um, these are definitely probably not the prettiest brushes, but they definitely function very well tiny brush and I'm just filling in the middle part of that flower with the blue um, blueberry banana and the cool thing about this like I said is even if you don't get the full image transferred on your nail from the stamp which as you can see on my middle finger I missed some of that flower that's perfectly fine because when you do lead lighting like this and you're coloring in the stamp it, in my opinion it kind of gives almost like an abstract type effect almost like a coloring book so I just took that yellow all the way up to my cuticle line and I thought it looked just fine. So this method is very forgiving if you're new to nail art and stamping and you want to avoid all the uh, advanced stamping or decal making and all that stuff. So here just filling in the petals on here super easy. 
Now I do want to note when you are doing this, you want to go in very light handed with your tiny brush. So you don't want to re-wet that stamp and then get smudging or anything like that. So go in light and just gently push the polish around to enough to cover your image. So when I'm also doing this, I do like to use one of my goopier polishes. That way I don't risk ruining any of my hard work. So definitely float your polish as much as possible for that top coat and just let it gently work its way over your nail because smudging your stamp is probably the most annoying thing ever. So here I'm good to go. And as you can see in the final look, definitely pops over silver. You can definitely also do this with white. Um, there's lots of versatility here with that. So both of these polishes were released from Flirt and Cosmetics tomorrow, June 24th. I'll link you guys below to her site as well as my blog post if you'd like additional images. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.